to in our second email of the day it comes Billie to us Eilish was from 2001 2001 mike she was born in this millennia oh, that's she, can you believe that i i wish i couldn't i wish i couldn't but unfortunately <laughs> this is the world that we live in right now <laughs> just found out she's 19 years old it turns out yeah she's terrible uh so this email comes to us from grayson who lives in salt lake city uh, 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 I'm sure that you've performed at Wise Guys in Salt Lake, uh, Harrison. I have. It's a it's a very good club. It's currently open, by the way. It is. I well, that you know does not shock me at all. And Grayson from Salt Lake City wants to know. So I keep hearing reports that Tom Hardy will be playing James Bond in the next movie, or rather, the movie after No Time to Die. But that never seems to actually happen. Are there are any of these reports? Uh, true, and if not, why do they keep circulating? Thanks, and uh, and great show, Mike. Well, th uh, thank you very much, Grayson. Um, yeah, so the, all these reports of Tom Hardy playing James Bond have been circulating forever. Uh, we've been hearing about this for eons. It is it is a thing that keeps coming back. Year after year, we always keep hearing that Tom Hardy, ooh, Tom Hardy's on the slate to play James Bond. Oh, we, you know, blah, blah, blah. same thing with Idris Elba. Like, hey, it, did you hear Idris Elba got cast as James Bond? And that was not true. That was never true. So again, here are my Hardy, Tom Hardy thoughts. First, five, five bullet points. First of all, one, there's no way the Eon Productions would name their new James Bond before No Time to Die is released. There's no way that they would do that. That would completely undermine their movie. So first and foremost, that is bogus. Second, none of the rumor, none of these rumors are from uh, reputable, reputable news sources. Like these are all rumors uh, coming from from the major rumor mills. You know, they're not. There's not a lick of truth in any of them. It's Tom Hardy's agent on a corner in L.A. with a bullhorn oh. <laughs> outside of Hollywood Reporter's office. That would be wonderful. Tom Hardy's James Bond. Put it in. Put it in. That would be wonderful. Um, <laughs> Tom Hardy. Yeah, but, but Mike, Tom Hardy expressed an interest in playing Bond. Yeah, well, get this. Newsflash, actor wants work. He's, uh, yeah, sure. Who wouldn't want to play James I, I've Bond? I've also expressed an interest. Uh, actually, well, I haven't yet. I'm doing that right now. I am expressing interest. I'll be the first Jewish Bond. Give it to me. You better uh, change your birth certificate to prove that you are from uh, from the UK. You were born and raised in the UK. You have an understanding of English culture. Do you have to be born in the UK to be James thing. Bond? It's kind of a thing. Uh, only one was not uh, not uh, from UK heritage, and he was uh, Australian. George Lazenby. There you go. Truth. Uh, yeah. Um, Henry Cavill was the runner up before Daniel Craig, which again, it's not a, a done deal. It's not set in stone. It's not, oh, well, the runner up always gets it. But there is the kind of this tradition, you know, um, before, um, uh, Roger Moore was offered the role, it was offered to Timothy Dalton. And then after Roger Moore, it went to Timothy Dalton. But before Timothy Dalton actually got it, the role was offered to Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan couldn't do it because he was doing Remington, Remington Steel. So it went uh, to Timothy Dalton. And there's this kind of almost a tradition of like whoever was the runner up is going to be the next person. Again, that's not set in stone. It's not a clear cut thing. But that brings us to our last point in that Tom Hardy, he's Two things. One, he's too old. And two, he's too big of a name. He's too big of a name. Everybody knows who Tom Hardy is. They usually end up going uh, casting an unknown. Uh, Harrison, I know you are currently uh, campaigning to play the role of yeah, James I'm in the running. I'm in the running. In the yeah. run. you've, got the, you've got the facial hair. You've got Maybe the that's look. why they sent me the movie in advance was to prepare me. Could be. It could be. Um, I would love to see that. How, um, first of all, would you like to see uh, Tom Hardy play James Bond? And if not, um, where, like, why do you think all these rumors keep coming around and around and around? Uh, well, first of all, Remy and Steel is, is one of the rare movie titles that is also its own porn parody, I feel like. I feel like Remy and Steel, you don't have to even change it. Just like I think Toy Story, the porn is just Toy Story. Um, <laughs> Dear. But... <laughs> when it comes to Tom Hardy, um, here's the thing. I like Tom Hardy as an actor, yeah. but 
I, I would like to see a Bond that is not a straight white man. And I don't know which ones you want to change of those three. Yeah. Um, but even or change all of them. Um, I, think, even if it was, I think there even is if it was an just argument. A gay if... white man and it was games Bond. Ooh. I'd be okay with that. I think if it was a black woman, that would be amazing. Just anything but a straight white man again. I think, well, in, in No Time to Die, and you've already seen this, so you can probably confirm that they are setting up that the moniker of 007 is being transferred from James Bond to, uh, oh, and I can't think of her name, but she is a, a black female actor. So the moniker of 007 is being transferred. It, uh, that hasn't been confirmed, but that is heavily rumored. Uh, that's something that a lot of people are expecting. But I would argue that the character of James Bond intrinsically should be male. Does he need to be straight? Does he need to be white? I argue no. Um, but the I don't know if he has to be a man, though. I think that could be very exciting to see James Bond be a lady. Why not? Um, I think that's why... I, see, I It seems too gimmicky for me if you're going to create a Jane Bond... It just seems way Ooh, too. Like it seems, it's way too, it. way too close. Way too close. Just change the character entirely. Get a create a brand new character, and I think that's what they're doing with uh with this new character. It seems as though it. Can you hear my cat trying to get out of the door right now? She's meowing, meowing, meowing. Minerva. <laughs> I think that's not no. her meowing trying to get out the door. I think that's her. She that, wants that to play a, the role. A lady supporting the idea that a female should be James Bond. Well, and I think I agree with that. Cat. Cool. So question is, guys, what do you think? Uh, do you think that uh, James Bond, the, the, the moniker of James Bond, not 007, but the moniker of James Bond uh, transcends gender, race and uh, 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 what is it? sexuality? Let us know down in the comment section below. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. If you really like this video, click subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, click share. Because that is exactly what this dinosaur would want you to do. Rawr, rawr, rawr.